can you explain more about the grid emissions factor used to determine greenhouse gas emissions avoided? Yes, and we are excited to have uh, greenhouse gas emissions included in the energy performance score. Um, so these 4.1 rating systems are, are the first time we've, we've started to look at that uh, within, within a lead rating system, which is, which is great. Um, so uh, what we're looking at here is the regional emissions factors from the grid on which the building is located. Um, so that means that uh, if you are on a grid that uses um, a, a dirty grid or a high carbon grid, uh, that would affect your score. Um, similarly, if you're on a grid that has uh, low carbon energy, like, like hydro, uh, you would also see that result in your score, and you would have you would have a better score. Um, so, where we're getting those emissions factors uh, are from um, in the U.S. from EPA. So, EPA does have uh, regional emissions factors that we are using uh, within the ARC platform. So, those are factors that you don't need to um, find those are already listed uh, based on your location in in the ARC platform. Um, outside the U.S., um, we do have national averages uh, for emissions factors. So every country has its own national average, and that is uh, that is from the IEA uh, database. So those those do evolve over time as the grid mix changes within countries and within the U.S. Uh, so those numbers uh, are updated um, yearly or every couple years, um, but those are the the actual uh, references for where we are getting the emissions factors to, uh, to be used within um, within ARC. Um, 